Okay, in this video I'm going to show you the graph editor. The graph editor is a really good tool to use to add in extra detail to your animation. So we have our bouncing ball here and what we'll notice is when we're going through the keyframes is that it's going at the same speed when it is going down and up. There is no acceleration or deceleration when it's hitting the floor or rising to the top. If we go to our window animation editors graph editor and we have our ball selected, we'll see that this graph is representing the animation on screen. So at the minute what we want to do is look at the translate Y which is moving in the up down direction. So if we click on that it isolates that uh, section of the graph. We can see our ball here at the very beginning at the top and moving down, hitting the bottom floor and rising back up and it's doing so in a way that it's keeping a constant speed okay which we need to change. And what you'll notice is these black dots are your actual keyframes. So if I click on one, you'll see that it comes out with these handles. If I click on one of the handles, it highlights that. And if I hold my mouse, middle mouse button down, I can click and change that handle. Okay, so if I move that down slightly, like that, you'll notice that the ball here, when it's at the top, is taking a long time to get going to accelerate and then once it does it starts to speed up rapidly hits the bottom slows down but when it's rising up we still have that it's kind of accelerating or moving at the same speed constantly so we need to grab this keyframe again click on this handle and move this down so now we can see that the ball accelerates very rapidly okay around frame 4 decelerates accelerates again really rapidly but as it's getting to the top it starts to slow down so we'll see how that plays out so we can see as we move along that it's moving slowly and then really rapidly hits the floor up again really rapidly but slows down we'll play that and you can use the graph editor for anything that you've animated so if we take a look at it again, <coughs> the graph editor, so anything that you move in the translate section, if you rotate anything, you can manipulate that. And in your scale again, you can manipulate that. And we can see our Y showing our keyframes for our squash and stretch. 